All right, we are joined by Alabama head coach Patrick Murphy and student athletes Bailey Dowling and Alex Salter. We will start with an opening statement from coach and then turn it over for questions for our student athletes. Dismiss them, and then we will go back for uh, questions for coach. If you have a question, I know most of you are on Zoom. Please use the raise your hand function or message in the chat. Um, we will get started with an opening statement from coach. So again, I just want to say thanks to everybody at Arkansas for a true championship experience and you know, it is so cool to see another SEC city embrace softball like Fayetteville has, like Tuscaloosa has. And uh, I know, um, I'm sure Courtney will say the same thing, but it was a great atmosphere for college softball, a national television audience. The whole thing was just made for TV. Um, and just everybody with at the tournament has been great. Um, but I, I think, you know, we have been, you know, to have 40 wins against Going into tonight, it was the second toughest schedule in the country. It's just unbelievable to me with with eight newbies, five freshmen that played a lot. Um, you know, really the only proven pitcher we had was Montana. And and to come away with a, a huge win tonight and the way we did it, um, we've been working towards resiliency, grit, um, determination, all those words that encompass a really, really good athlete. And tonight, I think you you saw it. Now questions for coach. We'll start here with Ethan. I mean, student athletes. You know, you see Montana go down. I guess what what does the team do at that point? What was kind of the message within the team? I think we definitely all rally behind her as a team. Um, and we all love each other, too, truly and genuinely love each other. And so, you know, one goes down, the next one steps up, and that was awesome assault, and we got the job done. Yeah, we just have each other's back. If one goes down or someone steps up, um, we just have each other's back. And like she said, we just love each other so much. So we'll do anything for anyone. And then for you, Alex, the sixth and seventh inning, y'all stranded Arkansas loaded. They had a chance to take the lead. Just how big was that? Just having each other's back, you know, just do what we can. Um, get people on, do what we can to get runs and literally do whatever we can. All right, now we'll turn it over to Zoom. Maxwell, you may unmute yourself. This is for Alex. Obviously, when you go Montana's hurt, you go in basically with just the pitches you threw on the field to warm up. You know, what's your mindset when you go into a situation like that with barely any time to warm up? Um, I, My mindset is trusting my pitches. I actually did warm up before. Um just in case you just never know what happens in the game or if anybody needs to come in. Cause I know the rest of the pitchers were ready if their name was called just like mine was. So we're just always ready when our time comes. All right. Katie, you may unmute yourself. Hey, I have a question for both first for Bailey. Um, and that last at bat, you had a conversation with Murph right before you struck out against Del three times. What kind of adjustment were you able to make? Or maybe it was, uh, that conversation kind of part of the adjustment you were able to make? It was, I mean, I'll never forget it. It was just all positive, you know, smoke middle. That's all they're saying. And I was just thinking I wanted to get it done for my team and everybody had my back and I wanted to have theirs. And then for Alex, um, with what happened uh, on that pop-up at the end of the game in the ninth, how are you kind of able to regroup for the final out, knowing that that could have been the final out of the game, but um, you know, you talk about y'all have each other's backs, but kind of how were you able to kind of trust in that after that play happened and regroup? Uh, just let it go very quickly. We can't let it drag on, let it drag on to the next play. And we just trust each other. So we were just like, just get the next one and we're going to get the job done. Thank you, Bailey and Alex. You may be dismissed. Now it's time for questions for coach. Ethan, you may go ahead. Trick, it was almost eerily similar to the last game that y'all played down against Arkansas in Tuscaloosa, except this time y'all came out on top in their environment. Just we talk about kind of the growth that you've seen in the team this year to be able to do that. Well, unreal. Um, and it was a great series in Tuscaloosa. And seriously, they, they've got a great team. And Janice is a hell of a pitcher. You know, just she's very, very good. And her changeup was on tonight. So uh, eerily similar. And, you know, I was looking at the left on base. We had 13. They had 11. So there's a lot of traffic on the bases, just not a lot of scoring. So both sides, the pitchers, 
were terrific. They made pitches when they needed to, um, got out of several jams, obviously both uh, teams. Um, it was just a, it's, you know, a, kind of a World Series type game at the SEC tournament. And atmosphere matched it. Just uh, a hell of a game for softball. All right, we'll turn it back to Zoom. Maxwell, you may unmute yourself. Yeah, um, just I know it's early, it just happened, but any update on Montana and I guess how you guys are going to handle this going forward? No, there isn't. And um, she was going to pitch the first two, and then we were going to let the other three, whatever happened, whether it's one game, two game, doesn't matter. They were that was their um, games to win. All right, Katie, you may unmute yourself. Hey, Murph, how did you see the team rally and respond after Montana went down, maybe starting with that conversation with Bailey that kind of finally got that key hit? I just, you know, like they both said, uh, it's a really, really close team. And, you know, we gathered everybody on the field, um, said a prayer, and, um, you know, they talked for a while and – you know, she's been, Montana's been the leader from day one. Um, the one that speaks up in the huddle, the one that speaks up at practice, you know, in our team room, the whole thing. And um, I just, I really think that they wanted to have her back 100% tonight. And, you know, Salty came in and did a hell of a job, made some really good pitches. And then we, you know, we just kept rallying. And finally, you know, somebody gets the job done and it was Dowling. And, um, you know, we, I think sometimes you just try too hard. And this is a team that you've seen it, Katie. You know, everybody that covers us for Alabama has seen it. It's it's a – they just really, really want it. And sometimes it's just you try a little bit too hard. And uh, instead of letting the game come to you, you try to force it. But, um, you know, tonight I saw some really, really good turnarounds and a lot of grit by our team. And then we'll take one final question from Eric Lopez. Oh, Joey, it's great to talk to you. You've been part of so many memorable, incredible games. Put this game in the context, considering the foul injury, the emotions, her rallying the group, Salter coming in and, and just pitching magnificent, maybe one of the best performances of her career and pulling a win out against the SEC champions on their park. Just put that into context. Where does this rank for you? That's pretty unreal, you know. Um, First thing I thought of afterwards was, um, you know, the 30 for 30. What if I told you and played the scenario out? I don't think anybody believed me. And um, just it's one of those games, you know, it's definitely a Bama U moment where um, old school Alabama softball was tonight. And you saw it for, shoot, it was a three-hour game, wasn't it? Three hours and 16 minutes of Bama U. Great. Thank you, Coach. Thanks a lot, you guys.